Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, or Benifer, seem to be taking the next step as a couple, buying a family home. And not just any family home, as you might expect from high profile stars like these two, they're reportedly dropping $50 million in a mega mansion in Bel Air, Los Angeles. This supposed new home for the lovebirds is 20,000 square feet of space with multiple kitchens, pools, and other luxe amenities. When we hear Benifer, we might think back to the days of frosted lip gloss and butterfly clips, but just like those things, this couple came right back into style. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez have been dating again for nearly a year. Year now, about two decades after their romance first took the world by storm. While they never ended up getting married way back in the early 2000s, perhaps second time's the charm. JLo and Affleck are reportedly trying to keep their relationship more private these days because of the publicity circus that ensued the first time around. JLo said, I think what we learned from the last time is that love, when you are lucky enough to find it, is so sacred and special, and you have to hold a little bit of that privately. And that's what we've learned. But we're very happy if that's what you're wondering about. And it seems that they are. After being spotted renting a lavish mansion in Miami, spending 10,000 square feet of space last year, more recently, JLo and Ben were spotted over on the other coast in LA, shopping in lavish neighborhoods like Holmby Hills and Bel Air for their own family home. Well, with JLo toting an estimated net worth of $400 million and Ben standing at about $150 million, it should come as no surprise the rumored home that they're purchasing comes with a price tag of over $50 million. Hey everyone, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out where Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2021, it was reported that JLo was house shopping in the Lux neighborhood of Holmby Hills. And while some thought Ben was buying the home with her, it seems he was just being supportive and checking out the properties too. The pair was seen leaving a tour of a gated mansion spanning 31,500 square feet of space, which was one of a few suitable mansions for Jennifer. This mega home was a bit unusual. A villa style property with 8 beds, 12 baths, and a full medical suite with dental offices, and even an operating room. I'm not sure what JLo could want with that, but there were other amenities to choose from, including a 4 lane bowling alley, golf simulator, hair salon, bar, movie theater, wine cellar with tasting room, and an indoor pool along with a spa with steam shower. When driving up to this mansion, you can see the hip roofed Mediterranean contemporary abode, while the door offered a stone entrance. Way. Inside, the features included dark hardwood flooring and high ceiling with plenty of natural lights. The home, even with its strange amenities, was no doubt beautiful. However, it ultimately wasn't the one which JLo purchased. More recently, word is that Jennifer waited it out, and now she and Ben are purchasing a home together one with enough space to blend their families if they want to, and then some. TMZ reported that the couple is taking the next step in their romance by dropping over $50 million on a breathtaking estate located in Bel Air, Los Angeles. The upscale and famed neighborhood of Bel Air is in an enclave in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains. There are winding, gated streets off of Sunset Boulevard lined with the most lavish mansions on large lots. It's no doubt popular with celebs and the wealthy, also home to the Hotel Bel Air and the exclusive Bel Air Country Club. Benifer is reported to be buying a 20,000 square foot estate here with 10 bedrooms and a whopping 17 bathrooms. The pair has put in an offer on this home with the hopes of combining their family, Jennifer with her 13 year old twins and Ben's three children he shares with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. This stunning mansion also boasts multiple kitchens, a home theater, a gym, his and hers baths and much much more. Obviously a picture perfect pool as well. The home is currently owned by Texas billionaire Todd Lemkin and the property offers some of the best views in LA. We'll just have to see if he accepts the couple's offer of over $50 million for the place. Since getting back together, JLo and Ben had stayed all over the country, resorting in Montana, which is a special place for Ben, partying at Jen's Hamptons mansion for July 4th, and of course, renting out a beautiful Miami mansion for over 100 k per month. But I guess it's time to put down some roots. Speaking of that Miami mansion, let's take a look at Benifer's former rental. The pair had more than enough room to lounge around in Miami Beach 
with this home, which spans 10,000 square feet of space inside on a large 27,000 square foot lot. Located on Hibiscus Island, a neighborhood in the city of Miami Beach on a man-made island in Biscayne Bay, of course the home is waterfront, an exclusive residential neighborhood, so you need some serious money to live here, that's for sure. Benifer's vacation retreat is a two-level contemporary mansion with 11 bedrooms, 12 baths, while the residence was also designer furnished with sleek and luxury details. There was an open plan layout with a lot of fresh white interiors, really making the most of the Miami vibe. According to online records, the couple was paying about 130k per month to call this place home. Almost every sprawling common room in the mansion had open water views and once outside, the property itself had 100 feet of prime waterfront. There was a large living room with glass doors out to the patio as well as a cozier family room with flat screen TV. The kitchen boasted ashy wood cabinets and stainless appliances where I'm sure Ben and Jen enjoyed some romantic dinners in. There was also a large sunny dining area with walls of windows. The main entryway was open plan with chic glass staircase leading to the upper level. Of course, we already saw JLo caught by paparazzi enjoying that balcony and the Miami breeze. The cozy master suite had a sitting area, huge closet and ensuite as well as that balcony. The amenities at JLo and Ben's rental mansion were endless. Elsewhere, there was a private gym, an office, and of course, a gorgeous pool, jacuzzi, and spa outside. The property also had a separate guest house that's the size of a family home in itself, as well as a great outdoor terrace surrounding the pool and amenities, and there's a private dock and boat lift. That rental mansion was far from the only Miami pad JLo was called home. Let's not forget, back when she and Ben originally started their romance in the early 2000s, her home was this gorgeous Miami estate. After the continued success of her first album, Kayla went on to purchase this mansion in Miami in 2002 for an undisclosed amount, but it looks like it cost at least a couple of million. The Spanish style home was situated on just over 1.2 acres of land, peppered with manicured gardens and palm trees. As well as its large formal rooms, balconies and terraces, the home had 7 beds and 13 bathrooms. It also had a lift and a spiral staircase with wrought iron banister. The home wasn't short of extra amenities either and boasted a theater, wine cellar and much more. More. The grand formal dining room looked out over the grounds through arched windows and had a medieval style chandelier hanging over the table, which I love. The spacious kitchen here was decorated in neutral colors much like the rest of the house and had a large kitchen island and exposed beams. Meanwhile, upstairs, JLo's master suite clocked in at 1,000 square feet of space alone. Comprising three bedrooms knocked into one, the suite had a terrace, gym, office and an ensuite bathroom. Heading outside, you could find a 60 foot long swimming pool and spa, a coral stone deck, a cabana, and an outdoor kitchen too. It even featured a dock and 200 feet of clear waterfront on Biscayne Bay. While Jen sold this place, it's thought that the property held a special place in her heart. It was where she actually retreated to after her incredibly public breakup with Ben back in the day when they were once engaged. Let's hope the new place will be a fresh start for Benifer. Alright, well now that we've gotten the latest Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez home update, I think that brings our video to an end. What do you guys think of the mansion Benefer is reportedly trying to purchase? Do you think coming together and buying a home to combine their families is a good idea? Well, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!